Hey guys, so here's the game I made for the edX uh, games for learning thing. This is the prototype. I haven't iterated and I haven't gotten a lot of feedback yet. Um, yeah, it's about magnetism and that's so opposites attract, likes repel, and the inverse squared law and some intuition about that. And there's a bunch of puzzles. Um, I do need help for level design if you guys want to help me out with that. Uh, I need some feedback too because this is just the first really playable one and I'll, I'll put up a link so you guys can play this in your browser too. So to get started I got three levels right now. Here's the basic first level and if you press G for go they'll repel and then they hit this wall. Um, it keeps track that it hit, hit some walls and in this level you don't want points I guess. So if we whip out a tool, we only have one right now and we have four charges. We're going to remove some electrons to change that charge. And now when we do it, um, they will not blast each other apart. And after, I don't know, 10 seconds, maybe you'll win. I, I haven't done that yet, but it's not that hard. Another one, second one. So here's again, you know, the basics of the game press Q. There's two tools this time and we're actually going to add an electron because in this level we're going to get points for making these hit the wall fast. So the faster they hit the better and if I just restart and if I just do this it's, it's a bit slower, right? Third level. This one's pretty neat so if we just go right from the start, it's a little chaotic and it's kind of hard to tell. There'll be some challenge text or something that'll tell you though. Um, yes, that we, you just have to make all of these the same. So that the guys, it's, I don't know, kind of like a dance or something. If I'm thinking of putting in some swing music or jive music or something. If you make them all the same, and I think there's one over here actually. Oh, I got it. Okay. So now when we press go, they all pair up and spin off. And those are the three like kind of official levels I've made that kind of have some planning. I have more simulation stuff going on though. Um, I have a f 10, 10 more kind of random things that it, I've just try it out that work maybe this could give you guys some level ideas if you want to help me out if you could draw some pictures of levels um, whenever a particle like disappears like that like zaps and goes it keeps track of the velocity it has the charge it has and the mass it had and so I can give points or remove points for any combination on any walls or whatever uh, here's another one Right, so these these uh, minus charges in the back are going to reverse and then shoot those off. Uh, another one, so this bar, uh, there's this really heavy, highly charged thing that's going to come. And so when we start, all of these little guys will go on the bar. But we've got this big heavy thing that's on its way. Not only is it heavy, it, so it won't stop, but its charge is really high, and then it will do that. Four is, what is this one? Oh yeah, this is just uh, almost an orbit, but the green guy will actually not make it go off into space. So this is neat. We've got a whole bunch of ones and a plus 200, and when I press go, it will cluster around, but the 200 is going to reverse, and I think this is pretty cool. In its second, there you go. Yeah. Um, this is cool too. It's kind of the same idea, except this time there's a bowl. So when I press go, it all gets sucked into the bowl. And then this uh, thing in the back is going to reverse and blast it out. Again, I don't know what levels I could do with this. I'm sure there's something. Um, six, seven. So these are going to repel each other, but because they're in a bowl, they're going to, of course, you know. Uh, this one. 
I'm not really sure what I was trying to do here. Okay. Um, and yeah, so this is going to hit, you know, a purple barrier. And a lot of these will end up orbiting, actually. So I don't know, I was thinking of making a bunch of planets or something, and you'd have to change them to minimize the number of, you know, meteorites or whatever analogy you want to go with. Oh, geez, look at that. The like, marble texture has, has a text on it. Okay, <laughs> going to have to fix that. And give due credit, but, but remove it in my game. Anyways, uh, if you guys have ideas, if you could draw them um, or send them my way for levels, I really plan on making like 20 levels uh, because all of this works now. I can just put it all together, except the score, but that's very easy to show the score. Thinking of some like high score, something rather. So there's also uh, multiply and divide by two tools. Um, I made the ancient Greek temple in Blender and the whole project took me about 15 hours because I coded the magnetism myself. This is not built into Unity. I did it in a smart way, I think, too, so it works well on my like eight-year-old laptop. Um, so again, if you want to draw pictures, if you have for level design ideas, just send them my way. Uh, there's sinusoidal motion, like wave going back and forth motion that I, I didn't show. So yeah, the idea is a physics teacher could give their high school class this link, and some students would play it for a minute, and other, others for you know a few hours, they'd beat the whole game. And they're going to get some intuition about opposites attract and inverse squared law and kind of how magnet particles feel. I think this is really fun and cool, and uh, thanks for watching.